Okay, this is the last stitch before we're changing colors and doing the beak. So do your first part of your single crochet, but before you pull that second loop through, you're gonna change to the color for your beak and pull that through. Now the next stitch, I like to go through um, and just pull up like a long slip stitch and just pull it through like that. That still counts as a stitch for when we go around. Now we're going to do an invisible decrease and you're going to do a total of eight. I go through the front loops only and that's what gives you a good invisible decrease. You want to make sure the head is stuffed as well as you like it and your eyes are attached because from here on it's going to be really hard to get in there and do anything different because it's going to be a pretty small opening. Okay, and this is the last invisible decrease. And I'm just going to trim this off and stick those ends back in. Then we're going to single crochet in each one around uh, a total of eight stitches and we're going to do that twice so two more rows of eight single crochets okay once you finish that second row you're going to fasten off and leave a fairly long tail we're going to use that to sew the beak closed. So as you flatten the beak, you can kind of see where each stitch um, corresponds to the top one. So I like to go through the front part of that stitch, so the front loop only that kind of gives it a more flat look and you're going to go through both sides of the beak and just lightly pull through it's not anything too fancy and once you have that done just kind of weave towards the back and i'm going to very lightly um, sew that part shut I don't like to do it too tight because it makes it look a little bit unnatural, but just like a really light go through every couple of stitch and then you'll just weave in your end. There you go, one silly goose with a silly beak.